Hello, folks, and welcome back to Project High Rise. As always, of course, I'm Falcon, your host, and we are embarking once again on this map. I actually had to restart and play up to this point again because I actually kind of screwed myself last time. I wasn't making enough money to be able to keep up the rent, or not the rent, the um, renovations, rather. Um, so I was getting further and further in the hole. Everybody was about to move out because the place was so dirty, basically. Uh, the, all the places were being run down and everything. And I couldn't, I had nowhere near the money that I needed to be able to do the renovations. And I wasn't making any real quantity of money. So we did a couple things. Number one, I expanded it a little bit slower. Uh, I also did not put in some additional things that I want to put in eventually. Like the additional uh, um, elevator stack over on the side. Um, I expanded to add an additional row of the regular apartments or uh, the regular studios because that gave me a, an additional amount of income that I didn't have before. Um, I didn't go quite as overboard with the restaurants and stuff so we didn't have to worry about them moving out. I positioned things a little more strategically. Um, so yeah, we're, we're basically where we need to be. We're about to reach a next day, which will give me a good chunk of money to work with. And I did pay for a media campaign, the one that reduces the operating cost by 50%. So that'll actually give me a substantial amount of money if we look at the uh, report thing here, the operating costs report. Um, I, th I think... What does this say? Reduces infrastructure. Uh, infrastructure. Okay. So our infrastructure is a thousand. So that would give us an extra 500. Assuming it only does that. I feel like it does utilities too, based on how effective it's been in the past. But maybe not. We'll find out here in a second. Um... I also only took out the lower, the lowest loan there, which gave me just enough money to be able to expand a little bit. Uh, as you can see, it's almost paid off even. I never took out this loan because that was additional money that we simply did not need to be putting out every day. Um, so now we're, we were putting out that $300 every day, so it has really helped us. I think I am going to probably take out this, the uh, $10,000 loan here though, because we're going, we're about to do a very large amount of expanding that we're going to need the money for, and which should easily make up for the uh, the daily cost of that without too much difficulty. Let's see exactly how much money we get. So if it only... Okay, see it added... I don't know. I don't, I don't know... See, it reduced our, our infrastructure to only 200, so it was... I don't really know. I don't get it. I feel like it it does more than it says it does, and it, like at the same time it doesn't. If that makes any sense. Uh, it probably doesn't, but whatever. Okay, well, we're going to expand up to this next story here. And we do need to expand. Uh, we actually need to expand to the story above this. We don't have to expand, like, a lot to the story above this. We only need to go to right there. Uh, because we're going to put in just enough to be able to put one more um, bigger, one more apartment. Uh, which is what those are there. We need to pay for the renovations. Uh, I am poised to put in some stores and stuff, but we can't do that quite yet. Uh, because we need sufficient room to put in one of these. So we need to expand this area a little bit more. Is that enough? Yeah, I think that's enough, because we need to be able to put in a storeroom. Now, these storerooms are, frankly, pretty ridiculously expensive. It says 200 per day, but it's actually 400 per day. It's 200 because of this. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty brutal, uh, especially when you consider that the, the stores only give us like less than 200, so even two of them will actually not make up for the amount that we, one of those costs, which is 
substantial. I mean, that's pretty bad. It really is. It's pretty brutal. Um, I kind of don't agree with how expensive they made that, because it's only a fucking storeroom. Like, it doesn't... It's not like it... I don't know. I just think it's ridiculously expensive. Oh, I did not actually need to, to put all of that in there, but... Oh well, too late now. I did it already, so it's too late now. Okay, so we need... Oh no, no, we need... Oh... Crap. Okay. Oh, damn it, I forgot. I screwed myself there. Oh well, that's fine, that's fine. We'll be alright. <laughs> For some reason I thought this floor was the one that was going to do what I needed. Okay, so this will help. The, the economy is starting to warm up again, so this will actually help us a great deal. It'll get our money heading back in the direction that we need it to be going for us to do the things that we need to do here. Um, now, the number one thing that we're going to do when, once I take out this loan, which we are going to have to take, um, is we need to replace some of these. We absolutely need to replace some of these. 100%, no question. We need to replace some of these. With the expanded, better cabinets. Because we need... We need this money back, basically. Uh, actually, I should not put that there. Eh, oh well. It's going to have to just stay where it is now. Because there's... There's nothing I can do about it now, so... Oh well, it's fine. Okay, uh, so... We are going to need, in addition to these... Alright, so the first thing we need, we need a storeroom. Boom. That will give us the ability to put in a grocery store. Which we need for the other shops up there. A portable electronics store. Which we need for the other guys up there. Now these need electricity. And the one needs phone. Uh, which also need, means that we need to put a, uh, a switch board in. Now we will go ahead and actually just pay for the more expensive one up front. Uh, because frankly... There's no reason not to, really. It's really all there is to it. There's no reason for us not to, because it's it's far more cost-efficient for us to just go ahead and put in the more expensive one just outright. It's considerably more cost-efficient, actually. It's not even, like, slightly more. It's a lot more cost-efficient. So we will just go ahead and do it that way. Uh, we do need water... All of these, and we need gas. I will need you need gas to this first one and the first one, which was the mistake I made on that other floor. Actually, both of those other floors, I put the gas too far across. I just didn't need it all that far across, so I I wasted money on it for no reason, basically, which was my bad. But oh well, it was done. Okay, we need you to work on this, guys. I need you to get down here. I need you to work on this, because I need to be able to put the phone cabinet here in. There we go. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're pissed. You're, you're not going to be pissed now. You're fine. Calm, calm yourselves. Calm your crazy selves. Okay, it might actually be a greater variety of small stores. Seriously, I need another store? All right, um, so what do we want then? Flower shop, no. Drugstore, maybe. Fills medicine, fills pres prescriptions. All right, yeah, we'll do a drugstore because that is worth more, primarily. <laughs> primarily, that's the real reason that we're gonna do that because uh, we, need, we need the slightly increased money that that will give us. It's just going to work a lot better for us at the end of the day. And I might wait another day because the economy is supposed to be improving, so this will hopefully mean we'll make more money on our rent stuff here. 
Uh, we can't put in those, and we don't want them anyway because we want the... There. That'll give us just enough to get the one-bedroom apartment requirement for the affordable housing one there. And uh, we'll blow well past this to be able to make... We'll make both of these at once, basically. Um, I really want to wait for the next day to tick over so we can see what our income is, differences are. And I'm also hoping that it will cause this to trigger to be what we want as well. Okay, so there's that. How do you still need more stores? I call bullshit. I call absolute bullshit. How many goddamn stores do you want? Oh, I call I call complete bullshit. Like seriously, come the fuck on. Like for real, I call absolute bullshit. That that is over. Uh, absolute bullshit. Absolute bullshit. I say. Oh well, whatever. Uh, so we need to run that and this, and we don't need gas all the way across there. Apparently we need to expand this more because we need another store, I guess. Which is complete bullshit. I really absolutely call bullshit on that. Like we need four stores? Really? Really? What? For real, what? That doesn't even make sense. How do we need so many damn stores for this? Like, that's just stupid. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I really don't get it. Where's the handy need? Electricity. Okay, that's what I figured. Oh, you're fine, electricity. Okay. Okay, so that gives us everything that we need for these guys. Um, we need 60 to hit level 3. Ooh, okay. That'll be nice. Because that'll let us put in the uh, deluxe apartments, which are considerably more money making than the ones that we've got there. And that'll also let us put in medium restaurants, which would be nice. Yes. Yes, very nice. Alright, fine. Fine. I'll we'll just go fucking all out. We'll just put... Actually, we're going to put one more because we don't have enough. We have insufficient uh, money to put another one. Well, whatever. Um, well, we have... 180... Well, 190 there... 185 180 Alright, fine. I guess we put it in the bookstore. Or magazine store, I guess. Which I'd really rather not put. I'd rather put something else, but apparently that's what we need, so. Damn it, these did not go change how much they were making. Oh well, whatever. We need it, so we need the. Uh, we need the money for it. I actually waited too long, because now we are going to lose money for no reason. Ooh, okay. Alright, so go ahead and spend all of our money. Crap, don't have enough. Well, I hope all that equals <laughs> enough for us to uh, not be losing money, because otherwise we're going to be screwed. Oh, I don't know. I hope that's enough. I hope that's enough. We could take out another loan, so if it's not enough, we might be okay, but... Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. We might actually be in trouble here. I might have screwed up. I guess we'll find out here in a minute. Because you are going to give us 190. 
you'll give us two, four, six, eight hundred, almost, not quite, but close enough. Uh, and another three hundred. Ooh, it's gonna be really close, actually. It's gonna be brutally close. Damn. I think we made it, but it's going to be really close. Way closer than I would like. Much closer than I would like. Much, much closer than I would like. Oh well. Um, so you need... You actually don't need anything other than... Oh no, you need restaurants. Oh, okay. We don't need anything other than cable that we don't already have. Oh, and recycling, but that's not that big a deal. Okay, so we might be able to put in a couple of deluxe ones. Uh, we have to put in the regular ones first because we need to finish up our one contract here. Profoundly profitable, so we need 10,000 rent. 50 new residents. I think we already have have residents. 31. Okay, so we don't quite, but we're really close. Because these apartments give two people. So, let's see, that would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Ugh. Two, two, three, four, yeah, so we would need, not quite, but we basically would need all of those to be filled for us to accomplish that one. Ugh. That's not good. And we need 10,000 in rent revenue for the other one, which we're not going to be even close to. So I'm actually going to hold off on taking either of those contracts right now, because we're nowhere near being able to do any, anything with either of them. Unfortunately. So we need you, and you. I can't put in that one. But that will help us with the money problem at least a little bit. Uh, we're still good at money on all of these other things, for the time being at least. Uh, we can put in restaurants now, because we just hit level 3. And I guess we should, because the, uh, these will require a restaurant that serve dinner. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think we can get away with just one of these. 170 a day, 75, 75. Way cheaper there, 175. All right, looks like 175 is the best we're gonna get. And we need either water or electricity on those. And we also gonna have to put in trash, which is unfortunate, but um, oh well, <laughs> basically. I mean, we could put it up here and not put one down here at all, uh, which may actually not be a bad idea. In reality, yeah, that may actually not be a bad idea. Maybe we should do it that way. I don't particularly want to do it that way, but maybe we should. But we need to complete this first. So all of our money basically is going to have to go into doing this for the time being. Uh, we will make a sizable chunk of money going into the uh, next day here. So that should help us out some. Um, you don't need, so we can put one, crap, we're just short of being able to put two of those in. Put one to shop though, so actually if we tear out this shop, we can put a restaurant there that we don't have to build a floor. There we go. There we go. And you just need water and electricity. Uh, so we just need to put water in. Well, and expand the electricity, I guess. But
Okay, and we have to make sure it serves dinner. We have to make sure we put one in that does dinner. I would prefer a place that has 180 income, but the most important thing is it has to do dinner. If it doesn't do dinner, you can't put it in. So it looks like the fast food and the pizza places are our options. Yeah, fast food and pizza. Okay, um... Alright, so we can put in... Put in one of you, and then we can put in another apartment. That's our money for that day. And then, that'll help us make more money for the next day, so we'll be able to make enough to hopefully pay off these other things. Oh, and now we have to do some renovating, probably. Oh, yeah. We'll have to wait until the next day here to do it. It's going to take all of our money, actually, to renovate, which is unfortunate, but... Oh, well. Not much we can do about it. We have no real real option there. Okay, so we have enough now to do the uh, deluxe ones. So that's good. We just have to be able to put cable in, though, so we don't have... Don't actually have enough money coming in to do that yet, but we kind of have enough money to do it. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Keep hitting the wrong damn button there. Um, so this is the one that we can take. Unfortunately, we're a long ways from being able to do it with it, though. We're still a long ways from being able to do anything with it. So we need 15 more residents to be able to reach to accomplish that one, and then we need like three thousand more dollars to be able coming in to be able to to make um, more actually to be able to make the other one. So we're a long ways from either of them. Oh damn! Is there just a way to just renovate individual places? There is. Okay. Renovate the restaurants and we'll go through and manually renovate as many apartments as we can afford. We'll put in one more deluxe. Just so we can at least increase our money coming in for that day. And then we're going to have to. Jeez. We're going to have to pay out a lot of money to make this next one. Ooh. Oh shit, I put a deluxe. Fuck. Crap. Oh, damn it. Oh, they're just gonna move out then, because there's nothing I can do about it. They're gonna move out before I can do anything with it. Crap, man. Oh, I hit the wrong fucking button. Damn it. I had to hit basic. I was just like, oh, you know, this is what we want. No, no, it's not. Damn it. Fuck. Oh well, nothing we can do about it. So that was a waste of money then. Money that I could have spent on more renovating or whatever. This is kind of what happened to me last time, is I got behind on renovations and then I just couldn't catch up. And everybody started moving out because I couldn't pay the renovation money. It was just too much. There's not going to be anything I can do about it either. Yeah, because you want recycling and other stuff, and we just don't have the money for it. We don't have the money for it, guys. I'm sorry. I screwed up. Oh, well. Oh, well. Well, I'm sorry. Hopefully I can at least make the money off of you for this day before you move out. Because that'll at least be nice. If I can make the money before you leave. Let's just raise the rent. Fuck it. They're going to move out anyway, so... Look, let's raise it. Let's just max it out. 
Make it as expensive as possible. There we go. Makes it as expensive as possible, and that might get us... Oh, didn't quite. Damn. I was say, maybe that'll give us enough money to do the renovations, but... Nope! It didn't! Oh well. What can you do? Not a whole lot of anything, that's what. I already need to spend more money than I can get. Alright, screw it. Screw it! There we go, that got most of our renovations done at least. Uh, they're gonna move out of course, there's nothing we can do about that. Um, what I might do, just before money goes through again, uh, we can go in here, we can actually use a renovate, a universal thing, and we can jack the price up to 200 just for a second before the uh, money goes through and immediately lower it again. And that might help us to make a good chunk of money really fast, really easy. It might be it might be worthwhile to wait to not just do that outright and see if it, it actually works the way that I kind of think it does. Because if you go in and like you lower the rent here, you know they immediately are happier. Uh, and if you raise it, they immediately are less happy. But I I wonder if you if you do it and then just change it right back. Um. So you would still be making a profit. You would not. You would not. Most likely, anyway. You just need more people. Mm -hmm. All these places are more or less okay. They're maybe not quaking quite enough money to make it. To really make a profit, but I think they would. Um, I think that might be a thing that can be easily solved. Maybe, hopefully. So let's let's do this real quick. Let's save the game here because uh, we're going to experiment with the game mechanics here, and I'm going to see if it's possible to just raise the rent for a second to collect the rent at the increased rate. And then if we lower it again immediately, uh, they shouldn't... If it works the way that it seems to work anyway, they'll go back to being happy. They'll, they'll only be unhappy with the rent for a second. They'll go back to being unhappy, and we'll still collect that increased amount of rent. That's how it seems that it works. It does not necessarily mean that is actually how it works. But that is how it appears to work. So let's just raise the apartments to 200%. Wait for rent to go through. Oh, holy crap. And then just immediately lower it again. See, they're they're content, they're happy, they're fine, but we made a buttload of money. For for nothing, basically. We made a buttload of money for no reason, pretty much. Uh, which is great. And now we can put in all of the apartments that we needed. We can easily afford all the apartments now. We can easily afford a cable TV set up so we can put in these guys uh, and they'll be happier with us. Uh, we can run the cable TV to those. We can put in a cable TV station. I will go ahead and put in the more expensive one um, because we will actually be able to afford it in a minute. Maybe not quite yet, but shortly very shortly. Okay, so there's actually enough space for that to go there. So we will not put a cable thing there. We will put cable thing over here. Wait, hold on. Yeah, so this four. So we'll put the cable thing there. Okay, we just accomplished something? 
What did we accomplish? What did we accomplish? Oh, the, uh, the, right, the number of, certain number of things. Right, right, right. That makes sense. Okay, so we don't have to run line because this is on the lower, the level that has the line all the way across to begin with. So we're good there. So now we can come into here, we can pick up um, this because we should be able to pretty much immediately get that done. And same with that, we immediately will complete that one. And we're good to go. So it gives us a bunch of free money. Uh, we should be able to actually repay this off if we want to. And actually may not be a bad idea to do that because that will that'll help us with our income problem. So renovate again. Uh, we can do two bedroom. Wow, that unlocked a lot of stuff. Wow. It actually unlocked a lot more than I thought it did. Than I thought it would, I should say. Uh, okay. Well. Um. Hmm. Hmm. All right, maybe let's go ahead and expand all of our floors out so that we can put in the other offices and things that I want to put in. This should give us the money to do that. We could put in one of these, but I, I feel like these are a waste of money for us to do right now. Like in the long term, sure, but right the second, I feel like that's not a good uh, use of our money. Just yet. Eventually, perhaps, but not just yet. So we'll expand both of these floors out. We might as well get all of this expanded out and built up how we want it. Uh, we should probably rip this out and replace it with a better one. So let's actually just do that. Pause the game for a second so we don't screw ourselves up by not having gas for a moment. There we go. And yeah, we should be good now. Uh, because now we have the apartments in place. Uh, we don't have any specific... Um, thing that we need. Really? And I might actually see if we can cheat the game again by just doing that. what we just did, basically. Raise the money for a split second, because it doesn't seem to have really affected anything. So we can just raise the money on everything, in fact, for just a split second, and then immediately drop it again. And we'll make, just make a t c crap ton of money for, like, no reason, basically. Because uh, it actually seems to work, which is completely breaking the game. It's basically cheating. But it's hilarious, so totally down for it. So yeah, just jack this through the roof. Just for a second. Just for a second. Make a ton of money off of it for no damn reason, because we're blatantly cheating the game systems, the game mechanics and everything. Because <laughs> hacks, basically. Pretty much just hacks. But why the hell not? We apparently can get away with it, so... Uh, so we do need... Um, recycling collection now. Uh, we do need recycling collection, so we can go ahead and put that in, because we are going to need it for the deluxe apartments. Uh, we can go ahead and put in... This one, two... Three, looks like we can fit just three. Uh, two bedrooms, which will be nice. One... Don't know that I can quite fit two of these. No, we can't. But we could fit two of these. And maybe... Uh... 
like one one bedroom and one of these maybe i'll have to look and see we might be able to fiddle around with it and fit a couple other things in addition to a two bedroom a large two bedroom apartment uh but yeah put in some medium stores now we can put in some more restaurants uh, we might not necessarily want to do that just yet because um, well just because really we don't have any immediately pressing need for it uh, we should probably do one more floor of like the deluxe or maybe try and see if we can put in the luxury ones we need medium stores for that but we could probably afford those now which to the point now that we should be able to do that we need a laundromat and housekeeping but that, that should be doable right i mean we should be able to do that let's put in some one bedrooms what do the two bedroom ones need so you need small restaurants Tier 390. Okay. I'm about housekeeping. Alright, so the deluxe two bedrooms give us twice or a hundred dollars more. But require a lot of additional stores. Now that's fine because we have the room for it. We do need to be able to put in, we do have to put in luxury um, one bedroom apartments though. Or maybe the luxury other things. But we need a bunch of one bedrooms before we can put in luxury two bedrooms. So I think we, we do a row or two of uh, luxury one bedrooms. I think is what we should try for. Uh, and then the, the bigger ones here, what do these need? So you just need a bazillion of everything. You need a metro station. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. You need much the same. But a few more services. Actually, quite a bit more services, really. Alright. I think we can do this. I think we can manage all this. It is going to be fairly difficult to get all of this. But let's put in this thing, because we need this. Uh, we need another store, which means we also need to put in another storeroom. a small store because you need medium restaurants and stores that sell appliances and housewares but it doesn't doesn't say that it needs to be oh no maybe it doesn't need to be a medium store damn all right that's fine that's fine so we can put in wine and spirit store maybe yeah put a wine and spirit store here 205 right there so we need electricity we probably need electricity for the office there too so that's fine uh, they're putting in the thing down below so 205 put that in then we need a medium store. Which unfortunately, it just doesn't have, you know, it has that extra space that we can't use for anything. Which is really unfortunate, but... Unfortunately, I don't think there's much we can really do about it. Like, we're really just kind of stuck with what we got there. So we need luxury one bedrooms, and we could probably put in... Because these have been deluxe. We could probably put in luxury studios here in a minute and we're trying to put in luxury one bedrooms too so we need laundromat and housekeeping 
All right, so we already knew that we would need the laundromat. We have room for it right there. And that requires water. Oh, it requires everything. Ooh, okay. Oh, well, that, that level doesn't need pipes, so we're good. And then what else did we need? A laundromat for you and housekeeping for you. Okay. So we have to put in housekeeping. Trades phone, water, and electricity. Okay. Oh, you are a large one. Okay. Well, that's a little obnoxious, but. Ooh. Ooh, 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 we don't have cabinets down here. Crap. Okay. Uh, it's kind of bad because that was actually unexpected. I didn't realize that I would need the cabinets over here. Crap. Housekeeping need again. Water, phone, and electricity. Okay. So we have electricity. We can run water from that. And phone that we have the problem with. So the phone is what we can run to over there. Okay. Okay. So that, that gets that done. So the home, home, home cleaning thing is taken care of there. So that gets us what we need for that. Now we need a medium restaurant, at least one more, and a store that does the right kind of appliances. Here we go. 300 per day. All you need is electricity. Okay, so that's good. We can manage that. I don't know that we'll be able to put anything right there. Oops. Just totally put that on the wrong floor. I mean, that's fine, we need it there too, but... And then... We'll have to see if that's enough. And then we need another large restaurant, or a medium restaurant, rather, at least one more. Possibly more than that, but at least one more. Hmm, I wanted to see... I can't, though. Alright, it's fine if we put one here, though. We're fine for that. Uh, so we need... We have something that's doing... those. So I think 180 is the most that we get out of these. Oh, no, 205. Okay, 210, actually. Okay. Alright, I changed my change what I was saying. Alright, so you need water and, ele and electricity. Okay, so you're good for that. And then you need water, which you can easily run to you. There we go. So that solves that problem. Right, so we can put in luxury studios now, and then we can put in luxury one bedrooms. Good. Alright, so they need everything. Cable, water, gas, the whole nine yards. Which kind of sucks, but everything but phone. We don't need phone. Because apparently in this day and age, who needs phones? Which makes me kind of think that we're in like the modern era when they have cell phones and stuff, but in reality, I don't think we are, so I'm actually a little confused by them not needing it, but whatever. Okay, so we can put in luxury one, one bedrooms now, and luxury studios, which will give us just a ton of money coming in, and we can actually expand now a good deal uh, to do that for a bunch of floors, basically, uh, because we now have sufficient money coming in, particularly when we use our little, our little cheat hack. Oops. Particularly when we use our little cheat hack. We have enough coming in that we can uh, run this all the way across. 
now without too much difficulty. So we can just expand, do a huge expansion here, which should get us to where we need to be income-wise and whatnot uh, for going forward. And as soon as we complete this, we're going to be good for now, money-wise. All right, so we're going to go in here, we're going to do a construction office. Uh, we need a large construction office, okay. So we're going to build a large construction office. Uh, okay, fine. Okay, fine. Didn't really want to build it there, but whatever. Whatever. Does the job, I guess. Does the job, I guess. And then we need... So that gives us that. Get the extra construction worker. Optimize the maintenance. And then optimize services, so we will, won't need services as much. I think that's a good use of our income there. I think that's a better use of our income than what we would get otherwise. So, uh, I well, I guess we need to have public transit, because we need to have the, uh, the metro station to be able to do what we want there. Uh, 25 floors, but we're still fine for that as far as everything goes right now. We have no no immediate need there, no immediate concern, because we're still still pretty much fine as far as that goes. Um, let's see, what did we need if we wanted the luxury two bedroom? We need some more small restaurants, which is fine. We're kind of working on that already. Um, dog walking services. We need some just more medium restaurants. Um, fashion accessories. Okay. So we need a fashion accessory store. Which I guess it's handbags and briefcases. You just need electricity, okay. So we're kind of trying to prepare ahead of time for some of these expansions that we want. Okay, so that handles all of that. So we just need medium restaurants and uh, more luxury apartments, which we're working on already. So that should help us with those problems. And I think we're going to actually go ahead and end the episode here. So we can put in large restaurants now, but we don't really need those uh, right this second. There's just no need. Ooh, a large maintenance office, that would actually be really good. It actually would be really, really good, because we need the... Uh, we need the better amount of money that's, that would come from that. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh... Crap, I wish I hadn't put this here. I wish I'd put the... Uh, damn. Alright. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Um... We had another day go by, damn it. Alright, so we need to expand down here some more. Apparently, because we need to put in the uh, maintenance office. I'm actually, I think I'm going to put the maintenance office up here, though. Because we need some more medium restaurants for the bigger apartments, right? This is what they wanted, right? Yeah, medium restaurants, okay. That's what I thought. So we need to put in another, at least one more medium restaurant. And I think if we put medium restaurant, I think we can put the maintenance office right next to the medium restaurant. And the maintenance office will, yeah, okay. This will make it 
uh, possible for us to do the auto renovations, which will be really nice because we won't have to fuck with uh, paying the money for all these things so much. So what do we put? We put a breakfast, we put a diner. Okay. So we have a diner and a pizza place, so we need... I guess we should put in a fast food because that's more... Oh no, we've all gone up a little bit. Okay. Well, we breakfast and lunch. Alright, whatever. Electricity and water. Not gas, water. Alright, there we go. So is that... Let's see if that gives us what we needed for the... Luxury two bedrooms. Nope, need another medium restaurant. Damn. Alright, how many fucking medium restaurants do you want me to put in? Because, damn. <laughs> Alright, so that was a sandwich shop, so now we want one of these. So you again need electricity. And water. There we go. So now we just need luxury apartments. Okay. So that gets us everything that we need then. So we can go ahead and put in these as desired. And boom. Oh, we don't have enough money. Oh, please tell me I put in all the things here. Oh, okay, I already did. Good. Good, good, good. We're good there then. So we just need some more luxury apartments and then we can start putting in the two bedroom ones. Uh, which we will go ahead and just advance to immediately. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, folks. Uh, because we are now making a sizable chunk of money, we're doing good, and I think we'll be fine. So we have to raise this to 100 residents, that shouldn't be too difficult, and we need high-end luxury apartments. Oh, we're building those already, so that'll be real easy. <laughs> that'll be real easy. We're already on our way to that. And, I mean, I guess we can just take this one, because we have nothing else immediately that we can take. Although, I mean, kind of whatever, who cares. But, uh, we probably need at least one more floor of these. And then we might be able to put in the two bedroom ones, but we'll have to wait and see. Let's just leave the two bedroom over there so we can see what we're doing with that. Uh, but I will go ahead and end the episode here, as I said. Uh, oh, I guess we can go ahead and put these in. Because we have the uh, money now. So we need trash collection. And boom! Funny that we can't put in these, because we need a variety of small restaurants. But we can put in this, which is just kind of silly, but whatever. Uh, so we actually don't need this floor at all, so maybe we'll rip these out. Maybe we just won't even put that in, maybe we'll just do the two bedrooms. Oh, we can do two, three of them right next to each other. Sweet. Okay, so we'll just do that then. That works better. And these needed, what was it? We need one more service that I don't have. What do they need? Dog walking, okay. So let's put in a dog walker. Phone, water, and electricity. Okay. Oh, you're fucking huge. What the hell's the dog walker thing so gigantic? It doesn't even make sense to me. Alright, whatever. It's fine, I guess, but... Seems a little silly. Seems just a little bit silly to me, but whatever. Okay, so that gives us those, and I think we're good to go then. So we wanted another small restaurant, apparently. Although 
I don't know that I want to put it there. I guess we can put it down here. Yeah, because we have room for it down here. Oh, you need... Not to the profit, so we need to lower your rent. Lower your rent a little bit because you're gonna move out. What's your problem? Oh. Oh, we locked out. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> okay. Wow, we we ran well over that. Oh, and I put these too close. Crap. I didn't realize that I fucked that up. Oh, damn it. Uh fuck. I really screwed that up. Oh well. Oh well. How far into this day are we? Crap. Yeah, I just screwed up. Really bad. Really bad. Really bad. Screwed up. Really bad. Really, really bad. So let's save there. I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode, and I'm gonna have to reload. Um. One of the quick saves, I think, uh, assuming that it wasn't too horribly long ago. Ugh. It was quite a while ago. But we're going to have to reload this one because I just screwed up really bad because I went well over the, uh, the electrical processing that I had available to me. I, went, I just completely over blew past it. It was just completely overran that. Uh, so I screwed myself up there. Uh, but we will pick up again with the next episode. I'm going to basically rebuild back up to where I was there. Before I kind of screwed up. And uh, we will pick up again next time. So thank you for watching, folks. I will see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>